So today they actually added a completely new exotic to the game. And it's called Coyote's Mask. And it's actually pretty damn good. So before I talk about the actual exotic, so how do you actually get it? So how to get it? It's pretty simple. So as far as we know right now, you can only get it from the season pass level 35. If you checked my season video earlier, then you know about the mask. And I also did type out the talent which was leaked and it turned out that it was correct. So that's the only way to get it now. I don't know if it can drop anywhere else. So I think for now it's only season pass reward. Because we did farm a lot of dogs on today for masks and we did not get the exotic or I haven't heard anybody else get it somewhere else. So it seems to be season pass only for now. That might change though. So I guess something worth noting is... Uh, the rolls that you actually get seems to be at least max weapon damage every time. And decently high rolls here. At least on the like 70% plus side. So pretty far. You cannot recalibrate it since it's like exotic and you can't craft an another one. So you're stuck with the one you get for now. Anyway, the talent is pack instincts. You and all allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit. And this buff stays on all the time until you hit a new enemy. And then depending on what meter it is, that's the buff you get for all your group. It's a pretty good uh, support item, I would say. Sadly, this one always rolls with weapon damage and the red attributes as far as I know. So if you play a tank or a healer, you might have to do some sacrifices for, for skill repair or skill haste. And same when it goes to tank. But anyway, so 0 to 15 meters, that's 25 crit damage. 15 to 25 is 10 critical hit damage and 10 critical hit chance. 25 meters plus is 25 critical hit chance. So pretty damn strong. The 25 crit chance, that's crazy. And uh, we actually did test this. So this one does stack. I will show you some footage of that uh, on the screen now. So as you can see in the footage, you can have two different buffs on and that will work. But if you guys have the same buff, you will only get one. So I think this could be pretty useful in a setup where you have a uh, a healer for example that usually far back and he would use this he could get the 25 meter one which is the critical hit chance and then he doesn't shoot the gun like a healer doesn't shoot the gun much right so he shoots once and then it's kind of fine and maybe he shoots the npcs here and there when he can but he can always keep the 25 crit chance up most of the time right and then you might have a tank that's at a closer range and he would try to get the other buff the 25 critical hit damage or the 10 critical hit damage and crit chance. So that's basically how it works. So if you look at the UI below the, the ammo. So when the arrow below is white, that's when you have the, the first buff, which is 50, uh, 25 critical hit damage, right? And if we go to 15 meters, then it's going to look like this. Okay, I guess we need 20 meters then. Now we're going to get another buff. Yeah, then we have... Uh, in the middle, it's white, right? And then the furthest away one, I don't think we have a... That one might count? No. Yeah, that one counted. And that is the furthest away buff, 25 crit chance. So actually a pretty cool set. I'm a big fan of this, but I would have liked if it wouldn't roll weapon damage. Because I feel like it would have been really good uh, for tanks and healers. But they have to give up the main attribute. And exotics, you can't recalibrate, so... I'm actually not really a big fan of that, but maybe when you can get it outside of the season pass, that might change because I think it's a pretty fair roll that they have in the season pass because it always rolls like 70% plus and weapon damage is always max. So I guess that's why. So maybe that can change in the future. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video showing the mask because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys haven't reached the level 35 in the season pass. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and see you guys in the next one.